Someone has asked me to explain muniment of title, and I am happy to do so. Muniment of title is a term that only a lawyer could love, and I love that term because it often comes up in the two areas of practice that cross over, and that is family law or divorce and probate, or the passing of property upon death. And that's what I wrote my book on, is the crossover and overlap between those two areas of law. Muniment is a term that you might see in a divorce decree where it would say towards the end of the decree somewhere that this decree may be used as a muniment of title. Or you may see it in probate court as we are asking that the court admit this will as a muniment of title. So what does a muniment of title actually do? Well, it is evidence of title. It does doesn't technically in the legal sense pass title, but it's the next best thing. So if you wanted to convey title or give title to somebody, transfer your right to own this piece of real estate, for instance, you would sign a deed. And the deed is the evidence that you have given this property to someone. And that deed gets recorded in the county deed record to show the world, to, to tell the public that the property belongs to the new owner. The the actual transfer of ownership occurred whenever the deed was delivered to the new owner and then the notice to the world happened when it was recorded in the deed records. A muniment of title is not a deed, but if you have a divorce and the judge orders, say, the husband to deed the house over to the wife because the house is awarded to the wife in the divorce, but the husband never signs that deed. He refuses or for some reason they are not able to get the husband to sign a deed, then the divorce decree itself serves as evidence that the house belongs solely to the wife. And that divorce decree can be recorded in the county deed records. You have to get a certified copy of the divorce decree and then hand carry it over to the county deed records and record the divorce decree as a muniment of title. And that means if anyone were to challenge title, the owner can use that muniment of title as their proof that the property belongs to them. And so we don't do it as a matter of course because number one, it's a lot more expensive to record a whole divorce decree than it is just to record a deed. Your deed records charges by the page and a typical deed may be two or three pages long. So you're paying for a lot more pages to be recorded. And secondly, it's public record and you would not necessarily necessarily want your whole divorce decree to be out there in the deed records for anybody to find on public record. Although divorce decrees, you can still find them in the district clerk's office as well, but it, it's generally somebody has to be looking for that particular divorce decree or that, that particular divorce to pull up your divorce decree. It's a little more difficult to pull it up in the district clerk's records than to stumble across it in the county deed records. So we we don't do it as a matter of course, but in cases where we can't get the deed, then we do the muniment of title in the divorce by recording the divorce decree. Now in probate court, muniment of title comes in handy if it has been more than four years since the death of the person who died. The, the law says that wills have to be probated within four years of the death of the decedent. And if it's been more than four years, then you cannot do an intestate, which is proving up the property division for heirs of the estate when there is no will. And you can't probate a will because it's been more than four years. But if you have a will, you could ask that the court rule that the will would have been valid if it had been presented within four years, that there's legally nothing wrong on the surface of the will, and it can be used as evidence that the property belongs to the new owner. You have the court rule that the will is a valid will under the law, other than the fact that it's been more than four years. You get a certified copy of the will and a certified copy of that order, and you hand carry it over to the county deed records and record it there as evidence that the property has passed through probate. Now, the only way you can do that is if there are no debt and there's no administration needed, there's no division of property needed, 
included in the probate proceeding. It's simply evident that this property belongs to the person that the will says that it belongs to. So it's something that is a, a very technical difference. Somebody could still challenge if they had evidence otherwise, but the owner can use that muniment of title to defend their right to own the property.